Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Car Mechanics Simulator 2015. We've got a Royale Bianco here, um, which has a problem with its controlling. It only needs an inner tie rod and a sway bar rear handling. That's okay, fast enough. Inner tie rod. Inner tie rod. And a sway bar, which I have to look at it again. Rear end link. Okay. It's that small thing. Sway bar, rear end link. There we go. All right. So we have to put it onto one of the lifters. What's uh, what's the next job we can get? Oh, 300 SL. <gasps> Wait. We can just take it? Let's take it. Oh, yeah. The car is loud. A Mercedes Benz 300 SL. Well, apparently they trust us with... Uh, Oh, wow. Well. With uh, doing stuff on this baby. Look at that thing. Oh, we'll have to replace that uh, manifold. All right. Anyway. Uh, let's get this up. Mmm. Lovely. Lovely. All right. So let's check it out. Uh, we send it to sway bar thingy. Come on. Come on. Over there. Over there. There you go. Oh, we need to take the wheel off for it. No, not that thing. The wheel. It's so fast now. You, you just barely right click for, you know, more than a split second and it's already taking it off. It's pretty cool. I like it. All right. Well, let's replace that with a shiny new one. All right. So now the other one is over there at the front. Uh, yeah, it is. Well, I have to take the wheel off for that as well, of course. Perfect. And that little inner tie rod. Off you go. Replaced with a shiny brand new one. So they can immediately have loads of rust on it. As they drive the car in winter or something. I don't know. Right, let's... Come on. Come on. You know you want to get in there. That's what she said. Alright, finish the job. That was... Oh, wait. I haven't replaced the wheel, have I? What? I haven't replaced it here. <laughs> it's like, here's your car, sir. We haven't put the wheel back on, but you'll manage with three, right? <laughs> you'll pay less taxes because it's now not a four-wheeler, it's a three-wheeler. Right, finished job. All right, now this beauty. All right, we said that the yeah, exhaust manifold and rear muffler. Oh, yeah. Exhaust manifold. Uh, 300 SL and a rear muffler. I seriously doubt it would only be this much. I mean, it's a 300 SL spare parts. It's not like they still make them, but I don't know. Either way, uh, let's get this thing onto a right lifter over there. Yeah, it's kind of a shame. It's not this way. Uh, so let's uh, get the rear muffler off. Yeah, we'll have to take all this stuff off. There's a throttle. And the intake manifold. Blink, blink, blink. The cover, and then we can take off the manifold. Alright. Off it comes. And a shiny new one in. There. And all the stuff that we took off just to replace that. But, you know, it was necessary. And of course, we're getting paid for it, so that's good. I'm just looking at the XP. Let's see. We should get 1 XP when we finish. Yep, that was the 1 XP. Alright, so, um, the throttle. There. Alright. Uh, what about. No. So let's see, oh, just the um, the muffler now, right? Mm. There it is. That's in pretty poor condition. Come on. And just replace it with a new one. Perfect. This car is done. That's quite expensive. Alright. Oh, we've got uh, enough XP for another 
Skill point, fast manual examination. We'll need that soon, I guess. We could also get for the repair, but I think I'm gonna go for these. Because now we have more and more cars that do not have lists provided, so... See, brake system needs fixing. Engine power has failed, list provided. Right, let's take another Malak. They're quite fun. Look at this one. General learning gear, car is hard to control, repair all gearbox faults. It's quite cool. Let's take this one first. Actually, we can take both of them. Why not? So let's take uh, this one as well. Oh, yeah. We need to move this one onto one of the lifters. And let's take uh, this one as well. Because that'll be good fun. To repair. Wow, we haven't gotten this one yet. It's like the uh, princess car. I can't remember what it was. Flamo. Mmm. Like, we, I can already see the rust through there. So what was wrong with this one? Quite a lot, wasn't it? Yeah, look at that stuff. Clutch plate as well. What was wrong with this one? Was it just, uh, engine power has failed? Wow. New cylinders, engine head, fuel pump, bloody hell. You, you are going to pay... <laughs> repair with parts exceeding minimum condition 48. You are going to pay more for the parts than the entire car is worth. Several times over. Alright, brake, pump, and shoe. Milk. Brake, pump. And brake, shoe. Damn it. See, this is the bad, the downside of having it all the way over there. Um, drum wheel cylinder and front brake drum. Front brake drum. Drum wheel cylinder. Two of them. All right. We're not skimping here. All right, that's that. We need two cylinders, engine head, and a fuel pump. Jeez. Cylinder. Wow. Fuel pump. I guess it's a it's a classic, and they wanted to keep it that way. Um, wait, what was the other one? Uh, the other thing? I always forget. Engine head. Ignition coil. So, engine head. Ignition coil. That is a hell of a lot of stuff, and it's going to be hella expensive. But hey, I don't care. Distributor rotor. Um, piston rod. Come on. Distributor. Uh, rotor, right? Conrad thing. Oh, a piston with Conrad, okay. And a spark plug. Wow. Loads of stuff is being um, changed on this one. That's pretty crazy. Of course, the engine is not here, it's just the battery. What is it like? I mean, I don't really care, but oh, I, I can take that apart. It needs to be on the lifter. Alright. Check this. Wow. This thing is in a bad condition. Alright, let's start taking it apart. What was that? That was the ignition coil here? Wow. Right, I'm not gonna put that back on because, well, we need to take quite a few things apart here. Uh, disassemble. There's a fuel pump. Tiny little fuel pump. Uh, oh. It does have a fuel pump? I thought it was um, gravity fed. Oh, interesting. Uh, right. The engine head. And of course the cylinders as well. So we're going to be disassembling quite a lot over here. It's going to be interesting. Air filter cover. Which is just clamped on. There's another clamp somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Alright, so all of this comes off. Carburetor. Man, look at the state of this thing. There's the air filter. It's taking just everything apart. There we go. 
Rocker arms. I'm not sure what that was. Rocker arms. Is that like the... That's for the um, Phallops, wasn't it? Interesting. Uh, so we need to take everything off. Fair enough. Yeah, this is pretty much a complete engine rebuild. And for some reason, the guy only wants us to replace one of the cylinders. I mean, it only has two anyway, but... Um, I mean, actually, no. He wants us to replace both of the cylinders, but only one of the pistons. I mean, if we're doing a complete engine rebuild, might as well take everything off and replace it. Yeah, I think this is going to be our biggest engine, you know, thing yet. Look at all this. Just rust everywhere. Say so that's off. That's the exhaust manifold. Uh, it's got these little spark plugs here. Oh, yeah, of course. Man. All right. Now we're actually taking the head off. Off with its head. Bing. And we expose these cylinders and pistons. Look at that stuff. Oh, bloody hell. I have to take this off. Right. All right. Well. Pulley. Is that also something we need to... Uh, Let's see, uh, blah blah blah, engine head, fuel pump, ignition distributor, piston with con rod, spark plug, and yeah, loads of stuff. Alright, so uh, let's lift the car. We also have to uh, get the oil out. And it might be dirty oil, but I kind of doubt it. Now, where is it? It's over there. Is that good? Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, I think unless the uh, customer actually wants you to replace the oil, it's it always appears, you know, clean. Which is kind of a shame, but oh well. There. Now look at that stuff. Wow. Crankshaft. Accessible from engine bay. Now I can get it. Alright. Get the oil drain out of the way, otherwise the game is gonna go... Oh, I can't! I can't put the car down because the oil drain is in the way! It's impossible! Impossible! Right. So that was the problematic one, but of course I need to replace the whole cylinder assembly anyway. Right! So, is there anything else we need to replace here? Um... I don't think there's anything else here. Here in the engine. There's stuff up front, but over here that's about it, I think. And I'll have to What the hell is this? Oh, this is the air intake, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> right, okay. Assembly mode. Let's put the new cylinders on. It's gonna look really weird. Uh, and the minimum was 48, so the other cylinder is still fine. So, we did a complete engine rebuild, as you can see. One of the cylinders is now completely new, and the other one is shit. So, basically, the guy will be paying me for, you know, taking the whole engine apart and back together, and then coming back within a week to replace the other cylinder, and we'll have another engine rebuild. So, brilliant! Good choice. Um, anyway, let's put all that stuff on. You might have noticed that the cylinders are in the same position, and that's why, uh, that's because, uh, two-cylinder engines usually have it like that. They're in the same position, and they have all this crazy stuff with, uh, counterweights, you know, offsetting the whole vibrations of, of the cylinders, and so on and so forth. I'm not sure if it's actually done in this particular engine, but, oh, there you go. Alright, so that goes back on. Man, there's so many things we've taken off. And I have to be careful that I replace everything with new stuff when applicable. All this stuff is ab above 44% though, so that's alright. 49%, that's fine. There you go. There. Alright, what else? There's the fuel pump, that needs replacing. Uh, something else on this side, wasn't it? No. Okay. Let's 
So let's just do the cover. Fun fan cover. Uh, anything else here? Wait, the spark plugs, of course. Oh, I forgot that. There we go. Spark plugs. The 58 one is fine. So now we have a new cylinder over here and a crappy spark plug and a crappy cylinder, uh, I mean, piston here and a good spark plug. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> right, let's put the cover on. That was quite some work here. Oh, I thought Radio Gaga was playing. Jeez. Alright, air filter. 49% on that. That one, that one, 40, 49 is fine. Because the guy is a cheap skate, he wants a full engine rebuild, but this is fine for him. Uh, what was that, the alternator? No, that was the... Oh, that, yeah, that was the alternator. Alright, anything else we've missed here? Well, lots of stuff, actually. Thermostat cover. Come on. Here you go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on! Ugh. All right, anything else apart from that? No. All right. Let's uh, live the car again. That was quite the rebuild. I'm happy. All right. Let's place the oil pan back on and put some oil in. If we've done everything as we should. There's also something in the front we need to replace. Ignition distributor rotor. Damn it. Where, where is that? Where did we uh, miss it? Oh yeah, I just forgot to assemble that. It's actually in there, so I have to... Uh... Shit. <laughs> Get back down. We'll need to put it back on again for uh, the, the, the brakes and everything, but well. So, get that off first. Wait, what? No, what's going on here? Oh, there it is. It's 22%. Oh, okay. I've completely missed that one. I think that actually spins, and it uh, that's for the... Um, yeah, that's for the uh, ignition. I mean, for the spark plugs. Alright, that's it now, I believe. For that. So now, we have to go for the brakes. Uh, let me just check something here. There's the brake pump we've already uh, replaced, so that's alright. We'll get to you, don't worry, don't worry. Alright, so now brakes. I can already see the brakes over there. And the brake pump, haven't I already... Change that one. I thought I did. Huh. Alright. Fair enough. I guess I haven't. Hmm. Oh yeah, the cap goes off first and then uh, this thing. And also that drum wheel cylinder thing. There. So let's put a new one on. Brake Oh no, not the new brake shoes. The old ones. Alright. And the cap and the wheel. RDG tire. Still don't know what that's all about. So let's see, anything wrong over here? Nope. There should be something wrong here though. Not on this side as far as I can see, and not on that side. Hmm. Let's see. Brake pump, yeah, and brake shoe and drum wheel cylinder. So where? On that side. All on that wheel, apparently. Disassemble. Immediately. Take that off. Ah, lovely, relaxing music. Oops. There. That's the two things we needed to uh, replace. Come on. Why can't I... What? What the hell's going on? Why can't I assemble it? Oh, there we go. I have to put the cylinder on first. Fair enough. 
And the cap. And the wheel. And then only the pump remains, I believe. Alright. Yep, the pump remains. And there it is. Disassemble. Oh, from under the car. Or wheel side. Or lifter. A oh, bloody hell. I thought it was from here. Ah, darn it. There we go. Alright, a successful repair. Well, this is pretty much an engine rebuild. I mean, that was quite a lot. 2,300. Still, oh, no oil, of course. Great! We're a very good mechanic. Rebuild the engine and then immediately blow it up by forgetting to put the oil in. <laughs> Flatty hell. Right, now where's the oil in this thing? This is the... Oh, that is... Okay. Yeah, and all that lovely rust as well. Mm-mm! Mm. Yum! Alright, we are done. Excellent, there we go. Alright! Nice. Well, thank you very much for watching. And next time we're going to be doing, well, repairing this car. Yeah.